the ceremonial. And he sees the whole atmosphere of our whole, of the, how the family looks. Everybody dressed so beautiful as this, this was the greatest day of their life. And the whole uh, 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 way of prayer, and then the food, and the drink, and the singing of the Zmiros, and uh, the study part of the, of, of, and the family togetherness, is something which I think they never have seen. I think that maybe the gefilte fish or the chon that they eat on the Shabbos is something that turns them on. I don't know, you know, where, what angel says the prayer into it, but there seems to be a magic. In this act of lighting the candles, we usher in the Shabbos. It brings what we call shalom bias or peace into the Jewish home. And by bringing light into the home, we also bring light into the world. Amen. The children of the returnees have it easier yet, and the reason is because, you see, they don't know of two worlds. They have been already born into a world of true Yiddishkeit. Children movement is growing very strongly. We have today in the uh, presently in the younger grades about 25% of our enrollment would be children of our uh, children parents. Of course, in the older grades there are only a select few, but uh, an overall average would be about 15% of a school of uh, over 400 children. just like a miniature pool, which has been built, according to Jewish law, purifies the individual, a spiritual elevation for their souls and themselves. <laughs> Anna Hashem Oshi, Anna, Anna Hashem Oshi, Anna. Mayor Abbasaram has been where these fellows are now that he's trying to bring back, and he does it along their own line. A Jew is happy with his brother. A Jew cut off from his brother is an unbeliever and he's a doubtful person, and he cuts him, when he, as he cuts himself, more and more and more, he's, he's, he's out completely of Judaism. He's, he, he, he believes in no God, he believes in no, in no one, and he's not happy.
there's nothing nicer than bringing a huge, gigantic menorah right here on Fifth Avenue so that a person that does not have an opportunity to learn about Hanukkah in his own home can learn about Hanukkah on Fifth Avenue and 59th Street. This menorah really ignites a spark within all the people. Many times a person comes over, he sees the menorah, he's inspired. That is what it's all about. That the inspiration that he receives here is translated into concrete deeds. There is no secret in bringing people back to, to their tradition. People want to come back anyway, but they want to have the means to come back. So I have no secret. I, it is just hard work. 